Greetings from Liberia to the global education community. I am Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, and it is a pleasure to join you virtually to kick off the 2013 USAID Global Education Summit. Education, as everyone in the room knows, is the cornerstone of any nation's development. Education is a basic human right and is fundamental to addressing global poverty. We all know that educated women raise healthier children and that educated societies are more peaceful, prosperous, and democratic. Like you, I too am committed to improving learning opportunities for all children and youth, boys and girls, to ensure a more prosperous, healthy, and stable future. This commitment stems from our experiences of civil conflict and determination to restore not just physical infrastructure, but the spirit of resilience and self-determination of our society. When peace finally prevailed in 2003, Liberians were filled with hopes and aspirations to recover from the war and to rebuild our country. Parents and children began to demand the opportunity to learn to read and write. When I became president in 2006, a core challenge I faced was to respond to this national yearning for education. Our country could not afford to lose another generation of students, so we declared rebuilding the education sector a number one priority. With the support of our global partners, like USAID, we set about building and rehabilitating schools. We made primary education free and compulsory, and later did the same for junior high education. The result is that the number of students enrolled nationwide has increased to over 500,000, this in a nation of some 4 million people. Yet, we have found that rebuilding schools is not enough, that we must also strengthen the management and administration of our education system, provide equitable access to education, and ensure that children are learning. In Liberia, many teachers still lack adequate skills to facilitate learning. The reasons include the lack of fundamental tools for learning and scores of children in overcrowded classrooms. This is unacceptable, and my administration, with the support of our partners, is committed to the critical next step, improving the quality of education. We must generate opportunities that will inspire children and youth to become lifelong learners. We must provide young people and adults the chance to continue their learning through non-formal higher education and vocational and technical training. We must equip teachers with the skills to teach reading, math, and science, and encourage them to serve as mentors and role models for students. We must support young girls by improving ped pedagogy and facilities to meet their needs and make them feel safe and nurtured in the school's environment. And we must create a culture of reading backed up with books and activities necessary to support reading and learning. This is why I am pleased to announce the launch of Liberia's National Reading Campaign on International Literacy Day on September 8. The goal of this campaign is to ignite the passion for reading, create lifelong readers, and highlight the importance of reading for developing and sustaining Liberia. This campaign is not just a message, it is action. It is my sincere hope that through these efforts, Liberia will develop an authentic culture of reading and a sustained demand for quality education. 
education is the most powerful investment we can make to create healthy, prosperous, and stable societies. Let us therefore unite in our collective effort to call the world's attention to education and continue our endeavor to create opportunities through learning for all of our children and youth. Thank you, and I wish all of you a very successful summit.